Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel Lifestyle Critic. I hope you're having a brilliant day. Wow, so the Spider-Man No Way Home marketing train just gets better and better, doesn't it? This is definitely one of the best examples of a movie being promoted that I have seen in such a long time. I mean, not only have we had some planned slash unplanned leaks, which have driven unbelievable levels of hype, for this movie, we've also got some amazing official posters and some even better fan posters. And now on Spider Monday, we've had an announcement of three more Tom Holland Spider-Man movies coming from Sony and from Marvel set in the MCU. This is just honestly unbelievable and truly incredible. So here are my thoughts on what could happen in those three movies. Now these are all theories by the way, so don't worry there are no spoilers here. So I think that the Sinister Five, namely Green Goblin, Doc Ock, Sandman, Lizard and Electro will all be defeated by the three Spider-Men and by Doctor Strange by the end of No Way Home, along with some casualties along the way, most probably Aunt May, which will be extremely devastating. This will then lead into the next trilogy on a very sad note for this version of Peter Parker, as we will see him going off to college, and maybe he'll meet up with his version of Gwen Stacy, Mary Jane and Harry Osborn here, and maybe also even Felicia Hardy as well, and we'll follow the more traditional storylines that we know of this character that we've seen the other actors playing. I wonder if Zendaya's MJ will also be sucked into another universe and have no way of coming back home either, which could depress this Peter Parker even more, but could also mean that she could have a separate set of storylines being told, maybe with Andrew Garfield or with Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man, which Sony could continue separately as well, as they will have no doubt been seeing how much love and hype these two original actors are receiving right now. I also think we'll see Tom Holland's Spider-Man continuing to feature in big MCU movies like Infinity War and Endgame and Civil War, such as The Young Avengers, his own true Sinister Six, and simultaneously building out his own Spider-Man characters within the MCU. I wonder if we'll also see his true version of Norman Osborn and Otto Octavius in this universe, and maybe they'll all work together like they have done in the most recent Marvel Spider-Man comic book animated series. I would literally also love to see Wolverine and Spider-Man interacting like they so often do in video games, animations, and in comic books as well. I also think they'll leave Venom in the MCU for a bit as well, and we could also see another storyline being adapted from this animated series, which would lead to loads of other symbiotes coming to Earth, which could finally lead to another live action adaptation of somebody donning the black Spider-Man suit, which will be absolutely awesome. And speaking of the most recent Marvel's animated series, we had some awesome sequences of loads of characters being taken over by the black symbiote Goo, so that would be absolutely awesome to see that happening in the MCU as it was just so incredible to see it happening in the animated series. And as we also saw in Homecoming, Miles Morales is being teased in this universe too. And they're also doing a Spider-Woman and a Silk series. So I wonder if that will also be in this universe or if that will be in Andrew Garfield's universe or even Tobey Maguire's universe or another universe altogether. I think the future within the Spider-Man world is just going to be absolutely incredible. But you know, time will tell, but no doubt an exception time to be a big fan of the webhead right now. So those are all of my thoughts on what could be coming up next and what could be happening in the future. Now I'd love to hear from you so please let me know what you think in the comment section below otherwise I look forward to seeing you in my next video.